Hello, and welcome to the North Tower, or whatever you want to call it, all the labs, or whatever. And it's my monthly Christmas. Although this time it only took two weeks, because it's the first one. And yes, here we have some more starships from the uh, Star Trek Starships collection. And uh, just a minor point before we open this. This is how it arrived. Well, it's had straps across it, but not actually shut or sealed or protected from anything. Admittedly, they're not going to get out because they're too big, but you no, know, it's not protected from anything. Rain or anything, so not good, guys. Not good. But shall we get and have a look? Oh, oh someone just done the cookie knack in here there. Really. Alarm is going off. Let's put the box down here and let's have a look inside. Okay, okay. Um, right. Oh, okay. First of all, because I'm a subscriber, we get the Star Trek official Star the official Star Ships collection folder. These come once every uh, sixteen episodes. Six, there. Can't speak today. Need more Earl Grey. Uh, these come once every 16 episodes, and as you can see, contain 16 books. I have no clue how to put them in there. Hmm. Hopefully it come with instructions. Yes, it looks like they fold through. I do not know, but I shall have a look, and then I shall show... Oh, it tells you there. I shall do that in a bit, and then I shall show you. That's actually rather nice. Nice design, I like that. Good idea. Oh. And... Being a subscriber, you get two episodes, and this time the books have come separately from the ships, which are in the bottom of the box there. So let's have a look at the book, shall we? For episode two, Whew, quite warm in here. We have the original. No, it's not the original. It's the one from the movies that was updated. It is the NCC one seven zero one? Don't know what that means. Two two seven one. USS Enterprise, Constitution Class, Relaunch 2271. Yes, it says the modified one for the movies. And, uh, what? Oh, have a look inside. What can we see there? We can't see enough. Uh, Warp 9. Was it Warp 9 I just saw? Warp 8. Warp Top speed eight. Warp 8. It's only a slow little thing. It's a baby. And as usual, we get the profile, classic scene, design the ship, filming the ship, and on screen. And you ready? Oh, look at that. I love the artwork in, the, in these magazines. They're very good. Data feed. The colour of the light given off by deflector discs change depending on how fast the refit enterprise are travelling. At warp speed it has an intense blue glow, while at temple speed it has a golden glow. Well, that explains that. Okay, okay, and oh, another data feed. Let's have a look at the data feeds here. Following Kirk's promotion to Admiral and his posting as Chief of Starfleet Operations, his hand click successor, William Decker, took over captain of the Enterprises in charge of the ship throughout his fury fit and work was nearing completion. Anyway, yes, I mean, this for hours. Oh, they're actually uh, thinking of doing a special model with it in dry dock. Excellent. Space dock. Dry dock. What do you want to call it? Space dock. It's a space dock. Space dock. Shut it, Fluffy. <laughs> and the uh, all, all the good stuff here. And the design, uh, the refit design work. That's very nice. Yes. Uh, yes. I shall have good read of these on the toilet later. That's where I read the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and the filming. Oh, look at that. Standard six foot model. It looks like he's humping at the dirty bugger. Oh, you can't see that. It looks like he's humping at the dirty bugger. And that gives you a sense of scale, too. So, and on screen, and showing the next one, which we have just over here. <laughs> And the standard back artwork there with the Enterprise and now that's just a glitch. I thought that was actually a little moon or something. But it's not. There we go. So it's an orange planet, it's always an orange planet. Two ships. So shall we have a look at the ship for it? There we go, Star Trek. 
be nice if they put the actual models on the box so it would be easier to put them away at the end of the day. But there you go. Uh, righty ho, do they? No, they're not standard fit. Okie dokie, where's my skiz? Okay, my untrusty knife. <laughs> there we go. And see if you remember how I did it last time. No, no, no. Where is it? The little bugger. Oh, they stopped doing it. Oh, they stopped doing it. Last one was solid taped together. He ain't this time. And here's our little model itself. Ta da! Oh, look at that. It's actually quite nose heavy because this is metal and this is plastic. See ya! They're all done to scale, although they've brought them up to similar scales. This is the G. And that's that one. In reality, that is a far smaller ship. But they have they made them all similar size. But if them is to scale. That's a nice little model of that. So I'll get the front there. It's not as much detail on this because there wasn't as much detail in the front. The golden top. I've heard a few things watching videos about these ships. Uh, people don't want the golden top. Some of them. Some people prefer the other designer top. There's the bottom. And there's the deflector in focus. There's the bottom. There's the sides. There's the top. And there's the the bay. We just got the doors right. closed. It's all sand. Yes, nice little ship that, ready? I and don't think it ever flew at that angle. Fluffy is looking bemused. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this is where the different. Oh no, oh that's easy. Come on Mr. Base, let's get you out. Let's get Mr. <coughs> Enterprise launched, shall we? Yes. At least this time we know how to, uh, in theory, put this on. Yes! First time. And there is the little guy on his base. Ta-da! Looks tiny on that base. <laughs> so, let's clear all the rubbish out. Put the box back together nice and carefully. My assistant is doing that right now. <laughs> ah, let me do it to Luke's now. The Bivell class. This is Star Trek, the official stuff. Don't touch. I'm stopping the fight. They don't like the Klingons. They do. They love each other. No, they don't. Do. Not. They're fighting all the way home in the box. This next one is a bearing uh, Number three is a Klingon bird of prey. Excellent. Because I'm a subscriber, I kept this two weeks before everybody else. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Top warp of nine, 139 meters across. There we go, and do, 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 get the usual sections. Klingon Defense Force Bird of Prey. The Bird of Prey was a classic Klingon ship that was perfectly designed for stealth and aggression. Just like my dotty cup here, is perfectly designed for containing tea. Hmm. Okay, ducky. Uh, right. Data feed. The Bird of Prey remained in service in the Klingon Defence Force for more than a century without any significant alterations to its exterior. The interiors and warp engines were clearly refitted and upgraded beyond this during this period. Well, the Enterprise D was supposed to be in service for a well, hundred years. So we've got some more artwork of the Klingon Bird of Prey here. Ooh, the Klingon Bird of Prey facing off the Enterprise that we've just looked at. And the Enterprise, as usual, getting trashed. Kirk had a bad habit of getting trashed. I wouldn't have trashed him. Anyway, so we've got some uh, plan views here. Side and front. I shall read all these later on the toilet, as usual. Uh, designing the Bird of Prey. Oh, look, some retro pictures. Was the Bird of Prey in the original series? 
All right, because I've got them sitting around here. Must have redesigned it for the, from the movie, possibly. Uh, there we go, ready for war. I was very interested in the idea it should have this outstretched neck as though you would see a bird flying to attack a creature. Yeah. And the model. Do, 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 do. And on-screen appearances. What about the on-screen appearances? And a quick look at the next one. The Enterprise NX-01. From the Enterprise series. So, there we go. There's our Star Trek Bird of Prey. Shall we open it up, shall we? Why not? Let's do that now. Let's do that right now. You're going to have to put labels on these because it will be a pain else. To put these in the boxes if we move and stuff. Yes. <laughs> right, King on Bird of Prey. Ta da! That was better than I thought, actually. Whew. I didn't expect it to be that good. I'll just get this out while I'm here. Ah, that'll. Just back in its little box. Yeah, it's screwed. Go. Oh dear, the Enterprise is, under, is attacking. Um, ah, that way. Don't. Right, okay. So look at this bobby, shall we? And it's a lot heavier than you think it would. And, oh, it's actually rather nice. I didn't think it would be this good, actually. Looking at the pictures. Oops. My wife is destroying the Enterprise over there. She's having a play with the Enterprise. Uh, Kirk's asked you to do it for him. So let's have a look. Yes, so it does in plan view with his guns. Mmm, guns. And there is quite a lot of detail to it. Not nice. Yeah. Face on, we can see. What's he done to it? Yes, they are labelled underneath, so you know which base goes with which, although. Does it really matter? Most bases are the same, I think. Ooh, yes, and there it is, flying past. See the detail on the gun there? Just about. And detail on the wings. And the Enterprise is getting rather impatient to come and attack here. And they've... Is that the original colour, or they tried to make it look dirty? Possibly dirty, because they weren't exactly clean vessels, were they? Yeah, it's like, made to look dirty. There we go, underneath. And lovely artwork underneath as well. Uh, pardon me. Can't see any obvious flaws or anything. So. <laughs> okay, you can attack with the Enterprise. Ready? Pow, 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 pow. Oh, don't hit! Kirk crashed the Enterprise. Uh, drinking too much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get this on its base. Let's crack on, shall we? This one's quite simple to put on. He says, famed. I imagine. Famous last words? Uh, uh, yeah, famous last words. I'm gonna have to look in the book. I imagine they went up there, but they don't. I look in the book and I'll be right back. Alright, so after three episodes, these are the ships we got so far. Oops, the Enterprise D, the refitted original, and the Klingon Bird of Prey. I'm now going to work out how to put the books, which we've got a few now. <laughs> into the folder, and I shall show you that a full year ago. And after quite a bit of fluffing, that assistance from wifey, and working it out together, we actually got them in. Yay! It involves getting the little pegs pushed up through the bottom here, and uh, using that to, yes, you can't see them yet. There's the little pegs, pushing through little holes behind these flaps, and then getting your thing to line up and go in. So, eventually we got there. Um, yes, there we go. All in 
nice and happy and wifey can now have a read if she wishes. There you go. So, look forward in a month's time to getting the next one. Thank you. Well, not. And just as an extra bonus, because you're still here, Fluffy has been reading away and she's just come across this little funny little bit. Take it away, Fluffy. Thank you. When they redesigned the Enterprise for the larger screen, they added a lot more windows. I saw when the camera got close to the model, it appeared that you could see something in the windows. They had fun with this one and they put pictures of Mickey Mouse, Andy Probert and various others as a kind of in-joke. There you go. Another reason to get it. Funny little things like that. Thank you all very much, Luffy. And thank you all very much, you lad. Thank you all very much. See you for the next one. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Yeah. <laughs>